congratulations and more power to you, gentlemen and ladies. Yung I was uh, met by the protocol and said na hindi na ako kailangan magsalita kasi nag-command conference tayo kahapon. Well, that is for those who attended, for those who did not. I still have to say, uh, maraming salamat sa servisyo ninyo sa ating bayan. And uh, in behalf of the Filipino people, as an elected official, uh, I am extending my warmest congratulations for your rise in your careers to be where you are now. Kailangan ko magsalita kasi kausapin ko. I cannot just go uh, directly na mag-uwi ako doon yung walang... Uh, ang akin lang is that uh, I ask of you, I plead of you to remain loyal to the flag and to the Constitution. Yan lang ang hingi ko sa iyo. I discourage yung personal loyalties. Nothing about that for me also. Makin lang is uh, alam ninyo ang tama, alam ninyo ang mali. So there's the Constitution to guide you. And uh, if at all, it is really the document that binds us all. Alam mo, Ganito yan eh. Bisaya ako. From the now, Cebu. Ang lola ko, Maranao. But my grandfather was a Chinese, pure, lao, lam. So, iba, uh, Ilunggo, uh, Waray, Lucano, o Igorot, Pagobo. We do not speak the same dialect. We do not even share the same menu. Pagluluto. Ito mga Bisaya gusto maalat. That's the sick. Ayang ano nang Bisaya. Uh, karamihan kidney niya. It's because it's coastal town historically. Wala namang gubat sa Cebu. Eh. So it's usually the fish that provides the nutrients. Nagdatingan lang tayo dito because our forefathers, however diverse they were during their time, and even without a flag to guide them, at that time, decided to organize a government. So lahat tayo, iba-ibang kultura, iba-ibang ugali, iba-ibang salita, we decided to be one nation. One republic, there's a constitution to guide us, and there's a flag which we salute uh, every day. It is the external manifestation of our unity. So what binds us together is really the constitution and the flag. Once you mess up with those things, the symbols of our country, then may iba ang istorya ng bayan. My oath of office says that I have to protect the Filipino and preserve the Republic of the Philippines. That is my duty. And the long and short of yours, the same, that we have a country, a nation to protect. So let us do that. So anyway, isang daanan lang tayo. We only pass through this world but once. I can, uh, and I was a student, there was this, uh, the, it says anonymous, pero a letter from, there was an author, and it said, I expect to, to, to pass through this world but once. Any good, therefore, that I can do to, in other words, any kindness that I can show to any fellow creature, let me do it now. Let me not differ or neglect it, for I shall not pass this way again. So, in 100 years, makikita pa rin tayo. It's a primordial thing that drives a man to procreate. Of course, it's, there's also the sex, uh, but that is uh, for the attraction, for two people to be together. Ang ating ano is, we guard our nation, at tayo mag-asawa. So we have a son or daughter that would carry the seeds of your being. 
and your daughter or son will marry, and his son will marry, and the grandson will marry. So perpetual, and it's there in the mind to procreate. 100 years from now, I don't know where Malacanian will be, or if this would uh, still be. Magkita-kita tayo, pero hindi tayo magkakilala. Pero alam natin na yung mga anak natin will guide us and their sons and their generations will give us life of eternity. When shall it come to an end? Well, sa Diyos yan. It depends on how God look at it. But at the end, at the end of time, we really do not know when is that. But as we, as we progress each generation, meron tayong, uh, and that is the seeds of your being that you pass on to your children. So that's the essence that is psychological uh, backdrop of uh, what really we would call love of country. Ako, I will not for the life of me ask anything that is beyond my power. Remember that. And I, I do not ask loyalty just because I signed the paper. Because whether you like it or not, that thing kayo sa, saan kayo ngayon. But one thing is really sure is that I said, uh, we have to keep this republic intact. Whether it was in Marawi or was it, uh, I had a talk with uh, and I said, uh, we can go into anything. I am not, I'm, I'm talking about the Mindanao issue. There is no assurance that this will pass the plebiscite, or plebiscite, if you may. Because apparently, uh, yung mga Tagalosan, pati Visayas, are not yet uh, convinced of uh, uh, this, uh, the soundness of the proposal. But kaming mga taga now, alam na kasi namin, and we will go for it. Because anyway, we know also the leaders. Pero, ang sabi ko kasi sa kanila, kung hindi lulusot yan, do not be precipitate. There will always be another way of doing it. Uh, may I can convince the people that will just give you a form of autonomy like the one granted to Hong Kong by China or uh, something parang ganon. Because the historical injustice is real that they were deprived of their territory. They were the first one to be there. Because if you are a Christian, you are not an original resident of Mindanao. Because Islam was ahead by almost, sabi nila 100 years. When went to Malaysia once upon a time when I was a congressman. I made the research about mga 60, 70. So by that time, lahat ng tribu doon, Maranao, Maguindanao, Iran, were all converted to, converted to Islam. Then Magellan came and brought uh, Christianity. So yan dyan, pero sila talaga yung nauna. But because of the imperialism, they were conquered first by the Spaniards and the Americans, and all of us uh, dito sa Visayas but embrace Christianity. So there's really something there. It is not religion for now. It has never been, and I hope it will never be an issue. But let us try to find out something, a way out here. If we cannot have an autonomy, then I'm, I'm talking to them, yung MI, pati MN. For me, uh, during my time, I will say to you now that I cannot negotiate with terrorists. Hindi ko talaga matanggap yung the kind of brutality and the, yung paradigm nila of destruction and killing for no reason at all. So how can you deal with such kind of people? Hindi talaga, hindi magkasya. Ito namang NPA, NDF, CPP. Uh, we should expect a longer war of attrition here. But uh, 
kung matapos natin during my term, I will be happy. But I am not talking to them anymore. And you did notice that in the newspapers, they are the ones demanding the resumption of the talks. And it says a lot, actually. At it says a lot na sila na mismo ang gustong magkipag-usap. So what could be the reason? Well, I will not speculate. I will not insult them. The ambassadors just keep uh, saying that uh, I will bide my time. Maybe in the fullness of God's time, there will be a moment where uh, we would all think, the military and the police, and you will be consulted all the way. I will never make a, 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 a single na akin lang. It has to be a consensus. Maybe someday. I'm telling the communists now. But for now, because uh, marami kasi akong sundalo, pati police na for no reason at all. That's why if you notice, I'm trying to prioritize. Wala namang stop. But the money is there. Ay, nag-reserve ba talaga ako? na makapagbili ako ng mga sidearms. Because itong sundalo, they go out of the camp uh, with nothing at all except their belts and shoes. At ang masakit sa akin is that they are being shot uh, uh, without any reason. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason really. And the one that was killed uh, earlier, kumuha lang ng pension nila sa land bank, they were gunned down with 73 gunshot wounds. But what really, tama yung sinabi ni, was it, was it, siguro ikaw ba yung secretary? Now, what broke the camel's back is, uh, they, they, they will waylay everybody. I mean, when you are there, you cannot say that you, you, that, uh, you did not know because when you, you set up an ambush, paputokin mo. Uh, yun na yun. Uh, when you say that you'd kill everybody there, at pati yung bata na four, four months old, it's a brace na uh, uh, they are, I'm accusing them of impunity. Ako yung sabi nila sa droga, anak ng masigura doon. A- ako sabihin ko sa inyo ha. I had only three messages during the campaign. It's a very short message for one. I was not really expecting also to win. Para lang ako nagkipag-debate. But I promised uh, the bare essentials of governance. Sabi ko, there will be no crop, uh, crop and corruption. Will be stopped. Second is drugs. So it's useless to debate with the human rights and everybody else. It will not stop. I am determined to wipe out the scores of drug in this country. If I will do it alone, which I kaya ko mag-isa gawin ko. To me, that is a sacred uh, thing. I vowed to do it. And third, yung sabi ko that I'll make this country prosperous by talking to the enemies of the state. Problem is, uh, sila ang ayaw. But, uh, you know, As I have said, and I'll repeat it, because they are harping on it incessantly, sabi ko, I cannot give you what I do not own. So yung mga working papers nila na dinala ng iba, binigay sa akin, at saka yung pinaforward officially, mayroon ang isa dyan na secretly providing me with the working papers and even the conversations. It would amount, actually, in the end. At the end of the day, it's coalition. No, no, no. Alam, alam mo itong sovereignty is one. And the one who decides what the drift would be in the sovereignty of our country, the Constitution says, are people who are elected by the people. So he might turn out to be son of a bitch, but yun ang pinili ng tao, then yeah, is the right, 
is the only one who can Congress, Supreme Court, at an executive department. They are the only ones who are the repository of governance. Kailan piliin ka ng tao? If you are not elected, you cannot be a part of holding that sovereignty because that is sacred. It is a gift of the people, for those who are elected, to run the country. And a coalition government, you divide sovereignty. It cannot be done. Masabi ko, if that is really the target, might as well end the talks. And with your depredations uh, every day, I sabi ko, kalukuhan ko. I will not stand for it, so that I decided to just. So they are now considered ordinary criminals. And so if they ambush you, that's murder, multiple. If they use an explosive, the use of explosive is always murder. Then it's no bail for everybody. And for those who are out temporarily, you just uh, maybe zero in now because uh, any day I will order for their mass arrest. Wala akong magawa eh. Ginusto ninyo. I'm addressing them to the TV. Ginusto ninyo eh. You demanded, uh, I, I gave too much to soon. I know yung police military and medyo may sentimento sa akin. You know, I released almost about 32. Just yung chamson na spouses. They are the ideologues of uh, the Communist Party. But tanda na rin sila. And I can understand why they are insisting in the resumption of the talk. Well, you might be ready now. Not before. Ang problema, ako na ang ayaw na rin. Because I said, uh, not, not of anything. I, 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 I concede to your brilliance or whatever. You are the ideologues. But then the simple matter is really sovereignty is owned by the Filipino people and nobody else. So, and one day, I will have just stopped uh, you arrested. You want to fight the country, create a revolution? Fine. We have been fighting you for 50 years, and we will fight again for another 50 years. That is what you, what you want. I'll, I'll, I'll just have to prepare the country for such eventuality. Tsaka yung mga executive orders, ayaw ninyo, there's a law that would protect the Filipino people from lung cancer and everything. Ibis ka na bubuga-buga na yun, tinatakot yun, yung mass action. Well, you try. You try and I will. I will show you that I am also sincere. When I say that I will arrest you, and confiscate all those things that are not allowed by law. It is not mine. It has been there for so many presidents to act. Ngayon, dito sa akin, I will do it. Why? I will do it simply because it is the law. Ayaw ninyo. We can always uh, prepare for that eventuality. In the meantime, kayo mayon ang nauna-una dyan. You always insist on the rule of law. We will follow the law. And if you don't, then the simple thing is to arrest you and place you in prison. If you come out with violent resistance, you place in danger the lives of people and the soldiers and the police, we will answer the appropriate uh, Action. That is my message to the Communist Party of the Philippines. But to you guys, uh, the soldiers of the Republic, I said it once again, uh, maraming salamat sa servisyo ninyo sa bayan. I'm just one of those passing by. But uh, really, in my time, you will have everything you need. Yan ang pangako o kay Bilbin. No. Ja, si Secretary Lorenzana is matagal ko ng kaibigan. He brought in the Second Ranger Battalion sa kilala na kami. Then there was si Gas uh, pumunit sa iyo na Ariola ang ambos ng komunista. 
Inabangan talaga nila yun sa ano. He was also a good friend of mine. I've always been a friend of people, military or police, na, na assigned sa... Kaya yung mga, ano niyang, bumunista ako, kalimutan. Politika lang yan. Pagbuto mo, kasali ng NPA dyan, sundalo, police, NPA, civilian, barangay captain. Eh, numero yan eh. At yun, nandito na ako sa itaas. I said, uh, there are things which I cannot concede because simply, I cannot do it. And that is my message to all of you. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for those inspiring words.